Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods here and today we're going to look at the Draper Multi-Tool and what caught my eye about this besides the spring-loaded pliers is the teeth on it for a wire cutting. It looks really nice on that and I'm going to test that out but let's go to the desktop now and I'll show you all the features about this. Budget item, only £12. So, and an odd place too, I bought it at TK Maxx. Go figure, but nice buy, only saw one. Hard to get something like this in my town, so I'm going to have a look at it now. But I just want to start with the case. The case is a nice, nicely made, it's kind of like cardboard sides here. Not um, so soft like the Leatherman Wave one I have, which I use about every day. So it's a really good multi-tool itself. But, um, you know, single loop in the back, button close, nice. Now, this uh, multi-tool, like I said, has really nice teeth in there. They don't look replaceable because um, it looks like it's just like a rivet in there, but good teeth on the pliers. Now you get a bottle opener. You can see that. You get a bottle opener, a can opener, a that's a flathead uh, screwdriver, and then you get this one, which is supposed to be a small knife, but it is dull as a butter knife. So I'm going to have to sharpen that one. So I'm not too fussed with that. Then you get a nail file with a large flathead uh, screwdriver. Going to the other side, you get a large knife. Another thing is all these tools lock, which I like. Uh, then you get a Phillips screwdriver, another flathead screwdriver, and then you get this, which I originally I thought it was a um, like fish scales or something like that, like for um, scaling fish or something like that. But actually, it's a saw. So I'm going to have to sharpen that one too, because if I'm confusing that with a fish scaler, and it's actually supposed to be a saw, that's something bad. But I thought about this top part here. Let's see if I can get that. That top part there is a little bit of a divot, which I thought would be good for, which is why I thought it was for fishing, for when you get a hook out of a mouth. So you go down the line, you get the hook and then you pull the hook out with it but I have um I don't think it's for that but you could use it for that so what was it on the thing it says 13 function tools so but like I said it's nice spring loaded pliers there comes back compared to the Leatherman Wave this is a lot bigger the Leatherman Wave or rattle around in this that's how big it is but um it said 12 pounds going by the packaging Regular retail price was £30.50 down to 12 quid, and I couldn't wait to unbox it because I just wanted to play with it at work. So, but no, that is the Draper one there. So, like I said, that's the knife. And it is, I'm going to have to sharpen that a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to sharpen that a lot, but like I said that's not much work. Throw it on another uh, my Lansky, I'll be fine. But I just thought as a multi tool goes, throw it in your bag, wear it in your hip, whatever. I mean, just be careful because it is a locking knife, depending upon where you live and the legality of it. But um, just want to share that with you guys because um, there's not too many uh, budget stuff out there. I mean, Leatherman Wave. My one, I only got 20 quid because a friend of mine um, sort of the car boot and he bought it for me. But, you know, I couldn't spend 80 quid or whatever they cost nowadays to get one. But as a second option, rather than the ones they sell at a the camping shop, that's a good bugger to go for. So if you can pick one up and you're on a budget, pick one up. Never know. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you around. Bye.